Oh my Coming goodness. Says, Honestly, truthfully. Miss Bluey girl. Woo! If I'm trying to be bad and bougie, I'm gonna be bad and bougie. This is dressed like $70. I'm not going to sleep in it. I'm going outside. I'm in love. So. You're getting better with the times. Looking on your herbs, tasting like some fine wine. X broke your heart, you can hear that through a mind. Nick be calling, but you never mind. Busy wall mine. Pull up to my house late night. Hit the brake lights in the shade right. I know what's up on your mind. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Okay, I kind of got to move quick, but I'm on the way out the door. I just told her that I was on the way, so I need to hurry up to tell you guys that yesterday my mom ended up adopting a brand new dog. She is one and a half years old. She named her Blue, but I told her that I really want to meet this dog today and hang out with her. It is like a pit bull, probably mix, I'm assuming. I don't know for sure, I have to ask her. But she looks so cute. And ever since we got lucky when he was a puppy, we started seeing so many pit bull puppies just out and about. So I'm not surprised that she picked up a pit at all. She looks so sweet and I'm so excited to meet her. She actually just got spayed by the adoption center today. So she's picking her up right now. She's currently there waiting for her and I need to hurry up because I want to meet her before we go. So I think we're just going to go back to my mom's house and see how she reacts to everything for the first time so let me go get my keys and let's go pick up baby blue by the way fit check is giving very much kim possible with these pants but i'm wearing crocs because i don't feel like putting my sneakers on because i'm scared they're gonna get stained by the dog speaking of things that get stained by doggies but i just have this little tank on from h&m i think got these pants from fashion nova and just random crocs because i don't want to mess up my shoes today and i don't know what we're going to be doing so these are the fail safe shoes all right let's go and then what we're gonna do you want cheerio you said this is cheerio. unflavored <laughs> right i should have brought um real treats they gave us cheerios for this I'm gonna share one of them. They're kind of nasty, aren't they? She said, this is not a treat, babe. Okay, baby, ready? Yeah, we're gonna have to do a big uh, jump then. Come on, baby. We're gonna get you some real treats, babe. Thank you, baby, are you? <gasps> you like the camera, huh? I am gonna be a fashionista. This is a different vibe than the boy. Oh my goodness, you love the camera, huh? Look at this. You said her first name was Princess. It is Princess. Look at that. I saw that. Oh my God, Blue. We need it. Is it too big? It's too little. That's too big. Let's try it. <laughs> it looks so cute with her little pink nose. Hey, boo. Come here, Blue. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> she looks oh so cute. Gosh. Okay, new plan. We're getting this. I'm getting it. Look at that, Princess Blue. <laughs> you like it? You like your new house? Yes. This is your house. Cute, huh? <laughs> Good. You love the camera. Good girl. Good girly. Good You're girl. so cutie. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm. ah Miss Blue. Miss Blue loves me. Oh, just a little bit. You guys, she wagged her tail on me, which she has not wagged her tail at all this entire time, and she willingly sat on me. Miss Blue, do you love me or what? He said, who you been with? I'm sorry, Lucky, I was with another doggie. I was with another doggie. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. My hair is wet, you know what that means. I am getting my hair done today. It's actually like half dry now because I just walked the dog. Look at the growth, you guys. You can really see it when it's blow dried and stretched out, but like my hair is growing, okay? For a person that's constantly on prednisone, this is an accomplishment for me. There are like still a little bit of bald spots, like right here is a little bit thinning. There is a bald spot in the middle of my head, but hopefully once I stop taking the medicine, it will go away. But overall, like the health of my hair, I cannot complain. I saw this YouTube short, which was really random, but I saw a YouTube short like a month ago and I sent it to my hairdresser and I was like, I need this immediately. It's, I just took a screenshot of it. The page is Salon Ready 5811. I don't know if this is their original video, but this is the video that I came across and her hair looks like this. It's like a ginger moment with like some light orange 
pieces coming out and I for the longest time have wanted a ginger wig. My 2019 era of doing YouTube, I did a Jessica Rabbit look and I wore like a ginger wig and ever since then I've really wanted to just have like an actual wig, like a you know lace bust down wig, not a party city vibe. So I've always wanted like a ginger wig for fall but I really want to wait until it gets colder to get any sort of wig because I'm, I've never had a wig before and I'm scared that something wrong is going to happen if it's hot outside. So I want to give myself the best circumstances it's still a little bit hot moving into the fall season i'm wearing like you know this long sleeve shirt and i'm not burning up and sweating and dying but it's still not to the point where i can wear a sweater so until then hopefully these braids y'all know my protective styles give it four weeks and girl is grown out so it's gonna last about a month hopefully after the month is over i'll be able to get a wig but i don't know if i'm gonna get it immediately or if i'm gonna wait until maybe november because my friend Brittany, also her name's Brittany, her wedding is in october and i don't want to try anything new like i want to look you know put together and i need something that's reliable so i might ask my hairdresser to give me another protective style just in you know like a natural color like black or something or i might even do a slick pony or a slick braid like I had on my birthday. But until then, I'm really feeling these ginger braids. When my hair was this short, I dyed it blue, um, just because <laughs> it was giving very much YOLO. I never dyed my hair before, and apparently virgin hair is like really easy to take color, so I decided that I wanted that color to be blue. Um, little did I know, because I never dyed my hair, and clearly I just wasn't thinking about the color theory, uh, blue, ends up turning green okay so i just look like a swamp monster <laughs> directly after getting my hair dyed it wasn't the blue that i wanted i kind of wanted like a midnight blackish blue and i kind of got like a little bit darker than cookie monster blue and in order to take blue out i had to color correct it with red so i ended up coloring my hair red and then back to brown and i never did a touch up i never did anything so this is just the result of it growing out and me never touching it my hair is kind of like three different colors and it also gets less in the summer so it's just all over the place i think for my first wig i just want to try like a plain black either like a body wave situation or maybe even just like a curly hair wig i really do love my curly hair i just don't like the fact that it shrinks and that's the worst part about having curly hair but i told myself once my curly hair gets past my boob i'm gonna start wearing it out more my hairdresser's like it's already past there it's already past there but that's when it's straightened okay i need it to be there curly i think i'm just being stubborn about it but i really want my hair down my ass really honestly truthfully all right let me detangle this and head to the salon um so this is gonna be a little bit complex but i'm gonna try calling your attention to joe um in reference to my video i'd like to hit uh two weeks or three weeks or something over there having a lot of fun over there i got the hair pretty much like 80 percent detangled i can't go fully detangle mode because I'm actually running a little bit late. I want to stop and get some breakfast before I get there because I know it's going to take a couple of hours, probably to Starbucks or something. Also, if you guys have any tips on how to get rid of this freaking piercing bump, please let me know. I'm trying to figure out, this is a little bit dramatic, but I'm trying to figure out if this is because I have an inflammatory disease or if it's just because my ear just sucks. Like, I'm trying to figure out if it's ever gonna go down. Um, I've literally done everything under the sun to try to get this to go away. I think what I'm gonna do next, I've been watching videos. I think I'm going to just get actual sea salt and mix it up in like a little bottle like this and just directly spray on this. I've tried aspirin, I've tried oils, like I've literally tried everything and it's still a bump. Like, to be fair, it's not growing like it's not a growing bump at one point it was growing it just won't go away so we're gonna try actual salt last time i used actual salt was the reason for this i don't know if i used the wrong salt we're gonna do a soak we're gonna do everything in our power because i told myself i refuse to get this ear pierced which i really want to get this ear pierced um i used to have a rook piercing right here before i went to the hospital and that was in 2021. So I haven't had a rook piercing since I was 21. And I miss it, you guys. I really want my rook piercing back. And I want to get a flat. I just want to get so much stuff. A, a conch. Like, I want to get everything. But I refuse to do it until I heal this ear. So if you guys have any tips on how to get rid of this. Besides, like, someone at my job told me to try emu oil. I don't know if that works or not. But I'm willing to try anything. So if you guys have anything that healed your piercing bumps, please let a girl know. Okay? Hi, can I have a grande pumpkin spice latte ice? Grande ice pumpkin spice latte. Grande ice pumpkin spice latte. Grande ice pumpkin 
spice latte? Yeah, just no whipped cream. And then can I have the double smoked a chocolate croissant? Sure thing, anything else? That's it. Don't trust in but you get it. Boo flow key, but I really know you with it. Why you not shallow when you really got them digits? I'm obsessed. I'm like, yes, ain't no stress. You the best. I'm obsessed. It's me, me girl. You gonna say hi? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I wish I was recording earlier where her tail was wagging away. You were excited to see me, huh? Weren't you, my baby girl? <laughs> a.m. I am actually getting ready to go to a bridal shower. I am going to my friend Brittany's bridal shower. She's getting married next month and I'm so excited. This wedding has been in the making for a minute so I've definitely been anticipating it for quite some time and today's her bridal shower. It's going to be at like a brunch spot. I've never been to this brunch spot before and I actually don't know anybody at her bridal party or her bridal shower. I literally just know the bride. So this is my first wedding. Like this is the first one of my friends that's getting married. So I'm super excited. I went to the store this morning. I actually woke up at like eight o'clock. I'm shook at myself. I am not a morning person at all. So I can't believe I just naturally woke up at that time. I put my alarm for 930. And when I woke up at eight, my dog was just staring at me like, so we are, are we gonna go outside or what? So I ended up going to the store when I woke up. I got her some flowers and I got her a card and a gift card. I didn't really know what to get. So I just got her a Victoria's Secret card and I already know what I'm gonna get her for her wedding. And I'm not gonna say cause I think she watches my videos. So I'm not gonna tell you, but I'm super excited. I'm just so happy for her. Does anyone do this where I'm literally leaving the house in like the next hour, but I just have candles burning in every single room. In here even, I just took a shower and I couldn't even really smell it, but it's just the ambiance of it burning. My friend Yasmin, if you guys have seen my winter vlog, she was in one of those when I went to the mall with her. But she got me this candle recently, like last week, I just met up with her. She's one of those friends that I meet up with like twice a year. You guys have those? Like once you start growing up, like we have shit to do. Like I, we literally have to schedule meeting up, but I love her. I've known her since high school. Same thing with Brittany. I've known Brittany since like the ninth grade. And um, she got me that candle, super cute. I love it for the bathroom. It's sparkling wine rose petals and woody oak and pomelo. This is a great bathroom scent for me. It's so bouge, like look at the can. That is insane. I didn't even know, leave it to you as me to find a bougie candle because I literally didn't even know that that brand existed. I just oiled like my entire body. I'm so here for the fall vibes, okay? It is currently 71 degrees outside and I don't care what anybody says, that is cool for me, okay? It's cool enough to wear a long sleeve. So let me put this on. I woke up with a stomach ache. This is so random. So I'm drinking some ginger ale. And also, I haven't used my, woo! I haven't used my ice roller in so long. So that was just so, ooh. But I need to because I'm still not on my proper medication for my autoimmune. And I don't know, maybe it's all in my head, but I just feel like my face just needs to be depuffed. It's definitely not as puffy as normal, but that's because I'm not really on a ton of steroids right now. I still just want to even everything up because I'm still taking them. And the fact that they're still in my system is enough for me to just overanalyze and freak out about my face being fat. <laughs> so I'm going to use this. I haven't used this enough to tell you guys if it actually works or not. I just really bougie when I use it and I just feel like it's doing something. You know what I mean? It has to be doing something. But I think I'm just gonna do some minimal makeup for this bridal shower. I haven't worn makeup. I haven't, pause. I haven't really gone outside, like gone to an actual thing in such a long time like I haven't gone to an event I haven't gone out I think the last time I went out was on Labor Day and it was with my mom and we went to go 
to get Mexican food for happy hour. I think that was the last time I really went outside. Like when I tell y'all I just work and film videos, I mean it whole chest. But y'all, I wanted to tell you that I got, ooh, I wanna use my, let me use my sleeping mask. Even though I'm not going to sleep, I just love this for my lips. It's the Laneige sleeping mask, but y'all know, y'all know. Y'all have seen it before. I used to think it was a gimmick, but girl, it's not a gimmick. If you have not tried it, run, don't walk to Sephora. They're not gonna sell out or anything, but still run. But what I was saying was, guys, I bought two bags from the Brandon Blackwood Fall 2023 drop, and I am so excited about them. I'm gonna make a separate video of me unboxing them. Tell me why people are getting them now. It literally just dropped on Friday, and people have them right now on Sunday. I'm so confused. I don't know if they did overnight shipping or what, but I think I just did regular, just standard shipping. And I'm still thinking about getting a third bag. I'm like debating. I'm telling myself that I don't need it, but like, I kind of need it. He came out with such good ones for this collection. I really am happy with the two that I did buy, so I'm not going to be devastated if I can't get the third one. But the third one is a the third one is banger, and it is really pricey for me, like just to be randomly spending. I definitely am the person, y'all know me. If I'm trying to be bad and bougie, I'm gonna be bad and bougie. Like I will definitely take the time to save the money, but I wasn't really planning on having him drop all these ones that I wanted. So I'm kind of just debating whether I want to spend like $600 on a whim. <sighs> if you guys see the haul and there's three bags in there, just know that I did it, okay? But I'm like trying to rationalize it in my head. Enough talking, you guys. Let's get ready. I'm going to do some light makeup and I have an outfit for the bridal shower. Yeah. What's the worst case scenario? Plan out in your head how it's all gonna go So you think you got it covered But there's always something new that you discover you've not thought about You can never figure out Every possible outcome And you're so scared you'll get it wrong Have a good time but don't worry after Petrified when they think I'm awkward When your brain's wired for disaster Even good things leave a bitter taste Try to calm down, thoughts spinning faster Terrified, hiding with laughter When your brain's wired for disaster Even good things leave a bitter taste Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah Even good things leave a bitter taste Okay, you guys, this is the final look just a cute little slight little sleigh i have an outfit this is like <laughs> turning into my default outfit for whenever i don't know what i'm going to do or what i'm going to wear because i rarely go anywhere so when i do go somewhere i literally just lose the ability to put an outfit together so this is a skims dress it's i think it's marketed as a sleep dress but girl this is dress like 70 dollars. i'm not going to sleep in it i'm going outside like a little slinky i like to call the material really really soft really really nice and I also have the Skims bralette to go with it. This way it doesn't show through the dress. I put shorts underneath of it because I don't feel like putting a shapewear on all the time. And I just like the way that this sucks all the cellulite and everything together. So I just wear like high-waisted. These are just random biker shorts from H&M. I bought these a long time ago and I never wore them outside. I bought them when I was 23 and I really wanted to wear them before I turned 24, but I literally never did, as you can see. They're just this pair of Jordans. They have like charms on the side. Really, really cute. So I figured I'll wear those instead of wearing like my normal panda dunks, um, just to switch it up. So let me put that on. This is the fit all together. I was gonna try to wear heels, but I literally can't. <laughs> There is somebody doing like work or construction outside and Lucky is not feeling it. Watch out babe so I can show my outfit. <laughs> but this is the fit. Didn't feel like wearing heels so we're going a little more casual. This is the fragrance for today. It's the Clean Reserve Skin Fragrance. Guys, this smells so good. It smells so good. Just go to Sephora and smell it. I literally bought it on a blind buy. Zero regrets. Like. It smells so good and it lasts so long. Not too strong. I can spray it a lot and it won't be too overwhelming. I'm in love. Got my Telfar as my bag for today. I took the long strap off because I figured it looked cuter like this. I really want the small one, but the medium will do for right now. It's like my only casual black bag until I get my Brandon Blackwoods. I'll show you guys. Got some flowers, got my girl's card, and I'm ready to go. Giving 
flower girl. <laughs> Looks so cute. <laughs> it's a couple hours later. I took a nap. It's eight o'clock on the dot, actually. I'm currently preheating my oven for some popcorn, chicken, only the finest cuisine in this household, okay? I was debating about ordering sushi for like 30 minutes and I just decided to eat at home. I made myself a little bootleg lemon drop. I've been using Tito's, by the way, and I actually really want to watch the Little Mermaid, you guys. I have not seen The Little Mermaid. I really wanted to watch it in theaters, but I just didn't end up going to the theaters. I actually don't really like going to movie theaters unless I'm with somebody. It's not the place that I'm like willingly going to go alone. I just didn't have anybody to go with when it was out. My dog. Thank you for being a part of the conversation, Lucky. Thank you so much. But The Little Mermaid is finally on Disney+. Plus. It's been on Disney+, Plus for a couple of weeks. I just haven't been in the mood to watch, like sit down and watch a movie. And I've been editing and going to work. And every time I came home, I just wanted to like watch a cartoon and go to bed. But I'm off tomorrow and all I'm doing is filming a video and picking up Blue to go to the vet. So I figured I would watch tonight. I'm so, so excited. I know I'm going to cry because uh, Hallie, obviously. I haven't even seen like the original cartoon mermaid in years. Like I'm like talking like, you know, four or five years old. So I really don't even remember <laughs> a lot about the movie, but I don't care. My girl is in it. And also I just got these ginger braids. So I feel like it's appropriate, you know? So that is it for tonight. I'm just going to eat my little chicken tenders, drink my lemon drop and watch the little mermaid. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog this week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.